be eight over. But first, two and a half million people in the UK are not working due to health problems, including back and neck pain caused by working from home. Mm -hmm. If you're suffering, then osteopath Anisha Ro uh, Joshi is here to help you. Good morning, Anisha. Good uh, morning. Morning. I have to say, when, we, when we, me and Alison see you uh, on uh, on like you know, what's coming up on the next day, when you, we, we, get we very know excited. you're going to show. We get very very excited because she's going to end up jumping on our backs. Exactly. <laughs> so, two point five million people. That is extraordinary. It is. It is. Um, and back and neck pain has so many causes that it's not surprising that people are experiencing so much of it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's multifactorial. So things like lack of movement, stress, sleep, all of that can contribute to someone who's experiencing pain. And those are the main causes of it? Yeah, so it's multifactorial. So that's our way of saying so many things cause it. Well, I think we're about to say the same thing. Working from home has changed this completely, hasn't it? Because obviously, so many more people are working from home now. Yeah. And so, it seems so simple when you think about it, but that means less movement. Yeah, exactly. So since the pandemic, there's definitely more of a hybrid working model, people working from home, and they obviously don't necessarily have access to this equipment that can help you keep moving. So I like to describe it as an active workstation. That's what you kind of want to think of it as being. Um, and you want to encourage movement throughout your day as much as yeah. possible. So, let's talk about the movement. Let's yeah. talk about what sort of movement should you be encouraging then? So, you can do little tricks. So, I've got a cushion here. You can sit on a cushion. And just literally sitting on a cushion like this is going to enable you to have slight movement. So, it's a, a little bit of instability. So, if we imagine the computers here. so. It's going to help you move like that a little bit when you're working. So you have mm. to stabilise your core, basically. Yeah, and, and it's, it's just an easier way of not having or having to buy something yeah. from home. And then also here, we've got a foot rest, which I will move to. And by putting your feet on a foot rest like this, again, this is a rocking foot rest. A lot of people use a foot rest that's stationary, but mm. actually one that rocks and moves is very good for you because what it does is it increases circulation and it also helps move the ankles, your knees and your legs. And is that for anybody, any height? Because what if you don't need a foot rest? Like, for instance, me, I've got my feet on the floor. I'm not a short person. It doesn't matter. Um, I think it would be great for you to still get your ankles moving. moving. If you were, Especially if you were sat at a desk for so hours and hours that, a like, day. you could do without the foot rest, couldn't you? You could just move You can, around. yeah, exactly. You can sort of literally just move in your seat. Like yeah. that as well. And I know you're always dancing, so... <laughs> <laughs> you know. Movement is not a problem over here. I also stretch. Like, I'll be here, like, and I will just, like, have a little bit of a stretch. I always move around. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's a small sort of stretch, but I will, I will do it. No, I guess that all makes a difference, though, doesn't it? It yeah. does. It's small. I've got, I've got my um, top tip Can we here. ask before you go, how oh. important is posture? <laughs> like, so... How important is it? So... It's not as important as people think it is. Okay. So it doesn't actually contribute to neck or back pain. It does, however, maybe make you look like you You're don't kind of care yeah, about oh, life. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's important to sit up straight. Just, I guess, if you want to look good, look confident, you know, but actually, in terms of contributing to neck or back pain, there's very little evidence oh, to show okay. that. Okay. Yeah. So, Movement is more important. All about movement. the movement, all about. So we have here my lovely setup. Oh, um, Is so you ironing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do like ironing. Um, so what we've got here is um, lots of people don't have space at home mm. to have a sit-stand desk. Yeah. So you can <laughs> use an ironing board and put your laptop on there. This is that awkward moment, you know, when you're like, oh, yeah. there you go. So, there you go. So, you could, if you wanted to, you can actually sort of use That's books good, here. It? It's a little desk. Yeah, exactly, like that. this. And then if you want to get movement throughout the day, if you've got a sore back, you can move the chair out the way and then, of course, bring that ironing board so up. It's a little ironing. bit wobbly. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, and that's great. Um, OK, that. listen, even one minute of movement going to help. You're going to show us how. So you're going to start with the next stretch, right? Yes, we sure are. You guys joining in? Oh, we're definitely joining in. Always. 
Right, so you put your ear to your shoulder and put your hand on your head like this. Which, which, which side? I want to You've got to synchronise it. This, side you go. this way. We that always right? synchronise, yeah, that's all. Oh, that's actually quite nice. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Good. What's this doing? So this is really good for um, all the neck muscles through here. And then it's just, again, it's moving your neck. Um, other side, guys. And does breathing matter here or how yeah, long we you wanna, have to we do We want to breathe for... them. At, I mean, breathing's really important. You can do this at home as well. Yeah. Do the same. Do it. It's actually really nice. And how long little, should you do this for? Break. Just for about 10 seconds. We did, this is our quick oh, one minute nice, movement. Man. Yeah. Um, shoulders, roll them forwards. Oh, yeah. Backwards. <laughs> it's weird because when you do it, you realise I need it. Completely. That. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It's weird, isn't it? And if you're sat at your desk, you, you can actually. Do it a bit more often. You should. Um, and if you're sat at your desk, you can use the side of your arm or whatever to just. Oh, twist that's around. nice. Oh, this is yeah. twisting the chair. Yes, yeah, is the number yeah. three. Now. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you only want to hold this for a couple of seconds and obviously just go as far as your body can go. Just for a bit of lower back as well. Yeah, so this, this is really good at targeting your upper back, your mid back and your lower back. And just so hold it really for a few good. seconds. Yeah. So nice. Lower good. back stretch, come on. Lower back, so <laughs> come on. Do it. If you put your leg on the other leg. Like that? No, no like so it's like up. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, like then, that works. Right. then that starts work, working right. the glutes. And then you just straight back, just bend forward. Oh, oh, so you'll gosh. notice that Dem and I are struggling a little bit. Yeah. Alison can move quite just a lot because she's supple. amazing. I am. Thank you so much. <laughs> Anisha, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. That was very good. I loved it. Nice. Uh, still